Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here. And today I got another episode of Hypermind modded series for you guys. Uh, just showing you what's changed around here a little bit. I got a little cactus farm set up. Still got the cotton going, got the tree farm, and then... <gasps> what? Where'd my house go? Where'd it go? No, just kidding guys. I've actually continued to move stuff over to the other house over there. And kind of, you know, set up some stuff in the same manner, but just over there. I think we're going to use this for some farming type stuff. Uh, and, you know, just kind of leave it that way. So if I go ahead and fly over here. I did clear off. Or we were here last time when we cleared off this big chunk of land. And then we can just drop down in here. Oop, drop too low. Nothing really on the top floor just yet. I did create a basement. Then we go through. I got my cobble gin. A couple of... Ooh, I need that glass. A couple of the furnaces and stuff. This is probably where I'm going to line up a lot of my machines. A lot of my machines. Got a ton of stone. Let's go ahead and grab just a ton of this. I don't want the cobble to start replacing it. So I'm only grabbing a little bit. It should be plenty. We come downstairs, I'll show you. I got an enchanting setup with the enchantment plus or advanced enchantment tables. And the way this works, you just put it in there and you can kind of slide with the sliders on how many things you want. And it's really, really good uh, for just being able to have other enchants and get what you want. It's a little more expensive, but it's it's pretty nice. Got our ore berries in here. Just got some iron ones right now. Go ahead and grab those because you can never have too much iron and then got the uh, little essence berry farm over here with a, a little system to harvest those and then you know of course my liquid XP and then this is my uh, applied energistic system I haven't really done a whole lot with it I just kind of moved it around and then you know I got a little power source from mechanism here uh, what this does is takes the water, separates it electrolytically into oxygen and hydrogen, sends the hydrogen over to here in the hydrogen generator, and then that powers this bad boy up there, and then sends the oxygen over to this tank where it is clearly filled up. Yeah, so um, that oxygen will be useful for us later down the line when we have some other things that we need to mess with. So yeah, you guys are pretty much caught up to speed. I got this one running too, but it's not running that often getting the majority of our power coming from that so this as of right now is just really powering that and uh, this guy over here so today I kind of want to delve into some more blood magic um, I kind of started and as you guys probably seen in my inventory I have some basics of blood magic all ready to go um, I got the divination signal and the apprentice blood orb now the apprentice blood orb is level 2 it looks like I got quite a bit of stuff in my system. Um, and so I, you know, kind of got started with it. And if you guys aren't familiar with how to get started with Blood Magic, um, there are a ton of tutorials. And even my buddy Zuljin is actually um, going through the beginning phases of Blood Magic all through his new Hermitcraft series. Uh, I, however, am not that familiar with it, so I got started with it just to kind of familiarize myself. Got to uh, Tier 2, got us a Lava Sigil, which if you're not sure, just really creates a bucket of lava. Um, if I use the Water Sigil, just going to create water. And then the Green Grove, I'll show you that. We're going to walk over and then the Air Sigil. And then the Sigil of the Fast Miner. The Sigil of the Fast Miner is really cool. It's like a haste beacon. If I turn it on, we get haste too. Really, really nice for mining. And then if I run out here, we're going to use the Air Sigil as soon as I clear this area. This is really cool. It's a lot nicer than the Jetpack. You definitely fly a heck of a lot faster. And then the Sigil of the Green Grove. If I turn this on, it does like an area effect and will tick plants 
to their next growth stage. So if I walk along here, we should see a lot of this stuff pop up white fairly quickly. I can also uh, just click on an item and it like bones meal, bone meals it. So if I want to all these trees to grow relatively quickly, we can see there that they will. We're getting like two or three trees popping up at once. Or, like I said, I can just click on it. It's taking some of my LP. Oh, that was a big ass tree. Okay, well, we'll try this one. Grow! There we go. Those should connect and take that other tree out. So, yeah, that is what I have accomplished so far. Click on the ground, make grass grow. Yeah. So you guys are pretty much caught up to speed. Um, the next thing I want to do is upgrade my tier of altar. I do need to fill in that little hole. Uh, are you soaked? That's you soaked. That's okay. So I really, I think I need uh, quite a few more runes. Um, I only had enough for like two sides plus two so that's gonna take quite a bit of smooth stone I think I'm gonna go and get some of that set up uh, to create these runes it's not all that hard if I type in rune we'll see that there are a few of them but I just need basic ones to start and it's two of these blank slates with the weak blood orb and I don't think my weak blood orbs in my AE system that way I can you know just kind of mess with it there so I am going to go ahead and get some of these set up actually I need to clear a couple things out of my inventory or just move those around I need to put that back because I got speed runes I need my sacrificial knife and my spell book put the knife down here there there see how much blood's in the altar it is full and so I should be able to put that in there and if we wait a few seconds we should see this piece of stone turn into a slate and I will grab it out and then I just need to do this a couple times and I will bring you guys back when we're ready to go to tier 3 alright guys so I have the rest of the runes put in here and all we should have to do is throw in some of the stone now, it's my understanding that the stones in the corners are purely decorative. What matters is the glowstone on top, but these cannot be air blocks. There has to be something here. So, now if I use my divination sigil, tier 3. All right. So, we definitely have tier 3 going on. Now, I should be able to... I think it still stores the same amount, but I should be able to fill this up just because it's good practice to fill it up when you need it and having the um, Ars Magica spell of healing I, it's a very basic spell I have not gotten far into Ars Magica at all uh, you know just far enough to make this spell why is this thing on crazy particle effects okay um, can I break you that works no? Still gonna do it. Okay. Alright. So now with tier 3, um, I gotta figure out. I don't know which the tier 3 runes are. Let's see here. We're gonna let this cycle its way through. It should continue to burn. We're just gonna continue to fill it up just in case. So it's still going. So that should be the tier two one. That's tier three. So what is this puppy called? Imbued Slate. Let's see what it's used for. Runes of augmented capacity. Runes of dislocation. Signature. Perfect for fire breathing fish who is afraid of heights. Okay. That combines three of those. I guess we will need to make a Magician's Blood Orb. Sigil of Holding. That'll be nice. Uh, Phantom Bridge. I heard that's really, really cool. Uh, Magnetism. Definitely will want that. Blood Lamp. 
I'm not sure what that is entirely. Spell cable. Let's see what else. Some weak blood shards. Um, something to do with chemistry and then demonic slates. So yeah, let's um, let's see what it takes to get the next blood orb. And we'll just look through here. I don't think that one's it. I think it's that's the weak magician. So I'm gonna need a gold block. Let's see, gold? No, no gold blocks in sight. And even if I crush that, I won't have enough. So what we are going to need to do is go mining for some gold. Uh, talk to you guys a little bit uh, while we go and do this. Um, I could actually get out my air sigil. I'll fly over here real quick. Um, the reason you're going to get this episode today instead of on Wednesday, normally I'd put out a Hypercraft or Hypermind Vanilla on uh, Monday, but we are a snapshot server, as you guys probably know, and it's been a little buggy lately. I, I logged on this morning to uh, do some recording and some prep work and ghost blocks galore every time I turned around so not really sure what's going on with that but never fear we have the same or we have another server to occupy our time with right here so this is iron not really gold like I said I needed but um, another thing going on right now, you guys probably remember that I just got back from my vacation. Uh, me and my wife went to California. Well, I might be going on another vacation slash trip slash, I don't know. Um, my dad called me the other day, uh, today, uh, yesterday actually, and uh, said that he had been in the hospital and for something that went wrong with the surgery he had a little while back and so I uh, don't want to die um, I don't know I just kinda got a feeling that I need to go see him um, he's not far from me but he's not very close either let's see do I have the wand yes I do uh, I live in Nashville Tennessee he lives in Bradenton Florida so like I said not very close um, but definitely able to go and see if I need to so I just I got a, a feeling that I need to go see him so I might go and do that all kind of depends on how things line up uh, if that happens I'm gonna try my best to get content pre-recorded for you guys because I won't leave uh, right away I'll, I'll be um, you know kind of have to prepare for that trip since it is a little bit of a trip it sounds like there is a fire truck coming, so um, I will chat with you guys as soon as that has passed. All right, guys, brought you back in. The uh, fire truck went the other way, but it was loud, and I heard it for a long time. And then a guy with a leaf blower walked by, and so I was even more aggravated. Um, yeah, but we're going to work on something real quick. Now, to do this... Um, this next blood orb let me type in blood orb here to do this next one that I need I believe it's the magicians it takes 25,000 LP now my LP network is only capacitated at 10,000 I do have a healing regen spell but I need something else I have some speed runes in here but I think I'm gonna need some other runes to really you know speed along the process and help out so these runes of self-sacrifice are probably gonna be my best bet I'm gonna want uh, quite a few of these as well um, and I might even look into activating a ritual um, some of the rituals that are around let me add some more blood to this thing uh, some of the rituals that you can do with blood magic are pretty nice and offer some regeneration effects as well so I might need to actually look into some of those um, let me grab my divination sigil 2000 
I'm gonna fill this puppy back up real quick. It's just, it takes so much, and if I didn't have a way to regen, this would take absolutely forever. Let me tell you. Ooh, new entry unlocked. We'll have to check out what that is. So put that in there. I'm going to grab, while that's doing its job, my Arcane Compendium. Battle Mage Armor. Okay, okay. Night Vision Plant Plow. Okay, all that good stuff. Let's put that back up there. This should pop out here in a second. Come on. There we go. So that's two, or should be two, of augmented capacity. Uh, let's look here, or not augmented capacity, of uh, self-sacrifice. Let's put that there. Oh, it actually only comes out to be one. Shucks. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll get some more here. I think I'm going to take that one out right there. And then put that up there on the bar. Put another one in there. Um, so I'm kind of doing a whole medieval type thing or magic type thing, honestly. Um, okay. So I'm just trying, you know, I like to do magic. I'm usually doing uh, tech in a lot of my stuff and I just, I'm kind of bored with tech. It's, text all the same uh, so I will do some basic processing and stuff like that but my big thing is gonna be um, magic and alchemy and doing that stuff because I'm not usually one to delve into that sort of thing so I do find it rather cool let's get one more of these things that's two that should be of self-sacrifice so that should increase our ability to hurt ourselves <laughs> um, okay so now we're at 7173 one little stab so instead of hmm how much does that add Probably 50 a piece, I think. So I might want to do some more. Yeah, let's do some more. Um, I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you guys right back. As soon as I get probably uh, two, four, six. I'm probably going to get six more. All right, guys. So I think that this will probably be the last thing we do in this episode. Um, just want to try and do this together hopefully we can pull it off but we're gonna go for the the next tier of blood orb it does drain rather quick so we're gonna need to get started with trying to kill ourselves hopefully we can keep up with the system I need to go a little bit slower because I don't want my uh, burnout to get too high and it has come on I hope this thing works yes we got it all right so that should now fill our soul network if I look current essence is 1000 LP if I put that bad boy in there, it should continue to rise and just use up what's left. Uh, if I grab the other two orbs that we have, we got one there. We should have another one there. Let's see, we got 2,700. There we go. So now we do have quite the large um, magician's blood orb so this will be really useful um, there's a bunch of these runes that we can tap into a bunch of sigils that I'm really looking forward to like this one we might actually be able to make that one right away here let's try um, 
Magnet Sigil. Oh, no, not of magnetism. Well, yeah, actually, let's look at magnetism. How much iron do I have? Iron. Do I have enough to make four blocks? One, two, three, four. Okay, let's now look at the sigil of magnetism. I really want this one, uh, so this will be good. And then we'll want the sigil of the elemental affinity. And those will all actually be in my bag. So I got the air one, I got the fire one, and I got the water one. So now, if I put all those in there, we'll go back to sigil. The elemental affinity. One there, one there, one there. And then one of you. Okay, how did that go? Okay. Wah. Okay, elemental affinity, and then haste, um, holding, let's see, magnetism, I got that, what about holding? Don't have the stuff to make that, okay. So let's look, what does this need? Perfect for a fire-breathing fish, current owner, deactivated, let's just see what these guys will do. Oh, okay, okay. Need my blood orb back. Blood orb. And then we'll just take out some of our life points just because it'd be nice to use these things with some LP in our system. Okay, so I'm assuming my helmet's got respiration on it, but let's go down. Okay, okay. And I don't think I take fall damage with this. That's good too. And then if I come over, I think like resistance to lava and fall damage and stuff is pretty much what it does. And then signal of magnetism. Let's see. Oh, this will be a good little test. I need to shear or I need to get this stuff anyway. Nope, that wasn't a good test. Okay. We'll test over here. Oh, cool. Awesome. All right, so that one is definitely going to be my new favorite. It's kind of like the coin of suck or the magnets from other Feed the Beast things that I've played. Too bad we lost our quick flight. We'll have to make another air sigil. That shouldn't be too hard. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. If there's something you'd like me to cover, again, please let me know. And I will talk to you guys next time. Get, get.